November. Was it as rubbish as you foresaw? Kind of, yeah. Um, we had people here on the ground, which was interesting. So people were able to travel. I don't think many are traveling. I think people are still uh, kind of deciding and, and opting to stay at home, which is understandable. Um, after all, we can't, we can't get to too many places without, you know, a big palaver. But the people who were here, um, what I noticed about them was because there aren't many of them here, there isn't that sense that they're in a, a competing environment. So they're, you know, they're, they're probably feeling that the demand isn't great. So if, if it's not something that's on the agenda to do, to do right now, and they want to do maybe buy next year, then why should they bother doing it now? Um, so we've got quite a few clients who have said to us that they're going to be coming back um, once they are able to come back in a more relaxed environment and take their time and blah, blah, blah. I suspect that's going to be into the new year now. Um, so that's that's kind of the, the feeling of it. I don't know about the, the stats with other agents and things like that. As I say, the activity is down a little bit, but it's, there's, still, there's still people there, still people in the market. But in terms of kind of pushing into a into a decision, people are again just starting to take their time a little bit. And I think it's that it's December now, you know, November, it's nearly December. Oh, it's nearly Christmas. Oh, oh it's nearly New Year. Oh, then we've got to get the kids back to school. Oh, and we'll we'll look at it again in end of January. I think we're in that kind of mentality zone at the moment, which is understandable. Would it be fair to say that uh the, the positive news of vaccines is uh, changing the outlook to a much more positive one, both from you and your team's point of view, as well as the people that you're speaking to. Yeah, it is. We, you know, we're having slightly different conversations now because we didn't have, I mean, we still don't really have an end date inside as to when this is all going to end and when we're all going to be able to take to the skies again with, with no worries. Um, but the conversations are shifting to when um, rather than whenever. So we're talking now to clients and a lot of those people that we're talking to who are serious about doing something are talking about just you know, getting on a plane whenever they can, which is likely to be maybe January, maybe February. Um, and so, yeah, we're still not there yet, but the, yeah, there's, there's more optimism in the, in the market for sure. And, and when, when would you, in med, do you think we're going to see a similar situation to what we had in July? Um, when when the travel the first lockdown ended, is there going to be all this pent up demand? Is it going to be a certain mini boom um, where we're going to see a a, a big true. amount of buyers just turning up here all of a sudden and creating some strange situation? I think that has to be Alfredo, and the reason is not necessarily because of the way the the property prices are or the market is moving, it's because of all the hard work that we're doing and other agents are doing behind the scenes. We are speaking to hundreds and hundreds of clients who are expressing a willingness to buy and a desire to buy. They simply aren't able to at the moment, or it's really difficult for them. Maybe 10% of our potential buyers are, are managing to get here, but 90% of them aren't. But we're still having really positive conversations with those people. The desire is still there. And they're all talking about coming over and buying something whenever they can. So if they are all, like you said, like in July, when all of a sudden the skies opened and people were able to get here, we were rushed up our feet. And the difference between July and kind of previous months and previous years was that our conversion rate was sky high because the people that actually made the effort to come here, who were looking at property, they'd done all their research with us. They'd worked for six months looking at hundreds of properties virtually, by email, whatever. And they're a lot further down the sales funnel. So I do expect that when people are able to travel and they get here en masse, that we're going to see a, a splurge of, of sales activity, yes.